today we are reading one of my very favorite books. We are reading Don't Wake Up the Tiger by Britta Teckentrup, published by Candlewick Press. I love the interaction with this book as we try and keep Tiger awake. Kip, do you think you could sneak past Tiger with a balloon and not wake him up? I don't know if I could, but I love the animals for trying and how, on all the tricks they do to try and keep Tiger awake. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope Tiger stays asleep. Don't Wake Up the Tiger by Britta Teckentrup. Shh, Tiger is fast asleep, and we shouldn't wake her up. But she's in the way. Whatever will the other animals do? They're in a hurry, and they've got a big bunch of balloons to carry, too. Oh, dear, how will they get past without waking her up? Luckily, Frog has a very good idea. Frog is using his balloon to float over Tiger. Can you help make sure Tiger stays asleep? Shh, let's pet her nose. That always works. Oh, good. Tiger is still sound asleep. Now it's Fox's turn, but look, Fox is too heavy for his balloon, and the balloon is dropping lower and lower. Blow, blow as hard as you can. Pish, pish, pish. Whew, Fox made it across. Good job. It's Tortoise's turn now. He's looking a little bit worried because Tiger is waking up. Let's pet Tiger's tummy. They are nice and gentle. That will help her sleep. Yay, Tortoise got across. He couldn't have done it without you, but now it's Mouse's turn, and she's shaking so much that she let go of her balloon. Oh, no, she's falling right onto Tiger's head. Quick, let's sing a lullaby. And can you rock the book, too? Everyone knows that tigers love to be rocked to sleep. Phew, that was close, wasn't it? Stork is the last animal to cross. She can step over Tiger with her long legs. But be careful, Stork. Watch out for the balloon. Pop! Oh dear, Tiger is wide awake. That means it's time for her first her surprise birthday party. Happy birthday, Tiger. Can you wish her a happy birthday too? You have been listening to Don't Wake Up the Tiger by Britta Teckentrup.